हेलो टीम वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो फार वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू सेट अप द प्राइमरी साइट एंड हाउ टू सेट अप द सेकेंडरी साइट सर्वर एंड हाउ टू इंस्टॉल द सम फ्यू रोल्स लाइक एस यू पी सॉफ्टवेयर एट बेट पॉइंट एंड रिपोर्टिंग सर्विसेज फॉर प्राइमरी साइट राइट सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू इंस्टॉल द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन पॉइंट uh you might think that uh, why we are going to discuss about only installations or uh, uh active directory or something or window uh, windows uh, os or uh, everything you are you, you might think like that because there is a proper reason that uh, first i need to if i want to discuss about uh, in depth troubleshooting concepts first i need a infrastructure right so for now what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to set a proper infrastructure like exactly like our uh, uh, on premises things or our uh, production point how it will be uh, how, how our production environment will be there i'm just exactly uh, trying to set everything like that while i'm doing i'm explaining how i am doing everything so once the infrastructure is completely set just like your production environment we can do more and more like we can discuss how to uh, how to create the collections we can discuss how to create the boundaries and we can discuss what is the difference between the okay, in the collections uh, query collections okay what is the difference between the boundaries concepts what are the types of the boundary concepts okay and what is the fallback uh, boundaries everything we can discuss all that okay but now uh, we are in very initial stage so for now we are discussing about these things that how to install primary secondary and now distribution point okay when come to the distribution point concept yes we can install this we can set this uh, distribution point under a primary site or under secondary site server it all depends on that how your uh, hierarchy you are going to design okay but for now yes i'm going to do this uh, i'm going to install the second uh, uh, distribution point under secondary side server okay and i will show you that uh, if possible i will show you that uh, how to reassign the di the same distribution point to the primary site in this same video if not i will uh, try to create another video which will explain you that uh, how to reassign the distribution point from secondary side server to primary side server actually this is the wonderful feature from our scm from 1810 if i'm not wrong yeah 1810 before that i actually i need to decom the distribution point and then i need to configure the new distribution point and the primary site if i really want to assign the or reassign the uh, sites but for now it is not like that because the new features are came into the picture okay before going to discuss about all that let's go let's discuss about distribution point how we are going to install it see uh, i i would like to show you that the current uh, infra we have two sites one is primary site and another one is secondary site okay with the proper roles okay when uh, go to the primary site yes we have total these roles software bit point and reporting service point we have installed and total count of roles are 10 okay recently we have created software bit point you can see it okay looks good it's complete uh, last synchronization yeah all good okay and then we have installed the secondary side server also this is also looks good let's go to check where is the database application oh link is failed okay if link is failed we are unable to create distribution point under this one okay let's go to second site input tada trying make sure before you are installing the distribution point under secondary side server that you should not get any issues you should not make sure that you, you don't have any issues on secondary side server okay for now uh, it's saying that uh, secondary side server is failed okay looks all good uh, just try to do a very basic troubleshoot Uh, 
SL60 is running good, SQL Server is running good, all good. Just restart it. simple way is you can see here oh okay okay usually uh, generally uh, this will come because of the services are not started or services are not responding properly to the primary site so then uh, th this type of things will come Let me disable the internet things, so it will directly communicate with the lab, uh, lab.com, lab inter, internal network. Disable, do the same for primary site as well. Okay. Let's refresh. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's al analyze this why the repl replication link was failed. Let's see. Meantime, we will see what is the issue from is MP is working or not. Okay, MP also looks good, responding. Shouldn't be an issue. Meantime, uh, let me show you one quick thing while we are uh, doing some troubleshoot on second and primary site server. Okay, I have already installed the uh, distribution, I already configured the OS server with 2016. Okay, and also installed the IS. Install the IS, okay. Focus, enable the bits as well. Just make sure your Windows authentication should be enabled. Good, and bits also should be enabled. It must be a okay. So all good. So IS installed. And go to computer management, go to groups, administrators, okay. You give the full control to your secondary site server. So when you want to install this uh, DP role on another, any other server, you must give the full control, okay. So that's the reason I, I added this uh, secondary site server, secondary site machine as a administrator on this computer, okay. Okay. Just refresh. Okay. SQL Server availability failover. Ah, this is no problem. Okay. All good. Okay. Now it's time to go. For this, we can do number of troubleshooting concepts. Actually, number of troubleshooting concepts are available. Mm. I will discuss all that things, um, uh, how to do troubleshoot and how the log flow will go. Uh, I will discuss all that in my upcoming videos. 
okay so since link is active secondary site link is active and also your server is available your second uh, your distribution point server is available with is installed and also windows firewall is enabled okay enabled but controlled by the group policy because i need to and uh, i need to make sure that wmi no wmi issues or uh, uh, no port issues so i have uh, set the group policy okay so all required ports are enabled if you have any doubt that what i how i did the group policy or something you just go to my channel you can see that how i install the group policy okay everything is available here and how i install the is mm, sorry 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 ah, see how i install this is everything is available here step by step i i upload it from scratch and was come to when uh, come to this uh, lab setup i i recorded each and every step okay so you can go through with these videos and you can understand that how i did uh, group policy or firewall settings everything okay see gpo video if you want to see just click on this and you can see that okay and web server is how I, how to install you just click here you can see that okay now come back so these three things are very important so i feel all good let's move second reset also looks good no further issues now proceed to install okay you are installing distribution point under second reset right so click on second reset okay create site server system or else you can do here also browse this dp okay dp.lab.com okay browse the server name okay and then use the computer account yes i'm using always computer account if you want to use another specific service account you can use okay but for now i'm using the computer account only if you use the service account if any issues with the service account or if you remove in future if you remove the service account again it's a problematic that uh, your dp will get the fail to communicate primary servers because the main service the installed service account is not available at that moment okay no proxy is required okay for site server what what are the role you are going to install i want only distribution point install is of course i have already installed but anyhow let's go it okay branch cache for now no need okay allow clients to uh, uh, connect anonymously yes i i need it i will tell you why it is drive settings this one i have already discussed right if you want to, for example i have only one drive okay where you want to locate this uh, library location i want only in c okay what is the secondary content for example if c is completely full okay so where the sscm need to place that uh, content is it in d or e or what is the next one what is the alternative one if this is full okay so for now the alternative one i i i give the chance to sscm only let's choose by yourself okay that's the reason i put automatic if you have another specific one if you put any dedicated one you can you can select it but for now i put just automatic okay okay no pull distribution point is required for now enable pxe i will discuss this later this is the separate very good topic actually okay why the pxe required what is the new option called uh, uh, without wds okay how to do it because we have dhcp also so we can discuss more and more about this one in coming videos this is completely plain in for how to install the plain infrastructure that's all okay no boundaries also for now no boundaries also have we are configured so nothing next click next 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 that's all okay close 
to see how it works go to your second side because you have installed the uh, distribution point under your second uh, second side server go here go here locks okay just go to distance here just see any response okay it started here uh, just keep up the log file very clearly any job created for and okay for now nothing let's see let's see let's see okay where is the desk One interesting one. See, actually, since you enable the install IS, right? Uh, while you are installing the distribution point, you have enabled that uh, if IS is not installed, just uh, install it. So you give the command to SSEM to install the required IS, right? So when you notice that, see the command line is distributed is uh, executing by SSEM automatically. See command line to install IS. If you see this one, so this command will trigger on the destination server to install the IS. Okay. For example, if you want to, for example, if you have a doubt that uh, this is not executed or IS, uh, whatever that you install, some features are missed or something like that, then just copy this one. Just copy it. Okay, and go to your DP, open your power, uh, power point, uh, sorry, PowerShell, copy it and enter, it will run. Okay, but for now it's really not required because I have already installed. And also on top of that, SSEM also pushes the same thing. So I don't want to do it again. Okay, but this is the, 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 this is the command line that every time we are using. And let's go back and also let me check wait voice version install is on remote okay good oh okay go here open your distribution point enter let's see what will happen Because I saw something red mark here. Looks like you haven't missed anything. Yeah. Copy. Because the last time it's, uh, we missed the quotation mark. Okay, error 740. Elevated permissions are required. Okay. Mm, the general mistake that we did. Close it. Open the PowerShell using administrator rights. Right click. Now see. That's all. See, earlier we are unable to run it. The reason is that we didn't open the PowerShell with the uh, administrative rights. That's it. Okay. Actually, the DP installation is completed because you can see that SMS DP folder, SSM content lib, everything is created. If you go to tools, go to IS.
SMS distribution point. See? So application pool also created and uh, assigned applications are two which are nothing but again this one SMS DP pa SMS package dollar and SMS DP SMS IG. These two applications are assigned so that's the reason applications number is two okay and uh, the managed pipeline is integrated one if you want to see settings these are the settings okay version 4 it is using integrated one okay start application pool immediately of course yes if it is stop your dp will not work so if something goes wrong you need to check here okay so virtual directory is also created just click browse Mm -hmm. Okay. Make sure your IS is working fine. Okay. Just enable the bits. Okay, so far it's not created the remaining uh, file, uh, remaining folders. So that means SMS DP dollar. See, same. So still, uh, it's creating the remaining folders. It will take a bit time. If you really want to push it, you can distribute one simple package to the server. Then automatically, remaining jobs will be created and it will push. To create the virtual directories and folders, virtual directories are already created, but the folders are not yet. Okay, let's wait for some more time. This is the distribution point. Okay, MP registry is successful. Okay, virtual directory created successful. Okay, SMS file and it's failed to delete the file extension. Okay successfully added this is important if this is missing then you, you will not able to browse a single package remember this okay application dependencies mm, fail to get size system certificate this is also no problem because after that only after a few times uh, it will create the certificate mm -hmm. okay meantime let me check one thing uh. See this one, we need to execute, means this one also automatically will be done uh, from uh, your primary side to, or oh sorry, your secondary side to your DP, means you are, uh, it will execute on your destination server wherever you want to install the DP role. This is very important, where you will get this SMS DP Pro, this will contain all uh, your WM and namespace and everything, so that once it is executed, then uh, uh, it will register in your WM and namespace. Okay, if you want to see where it located, so since it is second side server, I will show you this. Go to Microsoft Configuration Manager, go to bin 64, SMS DP Pro. Sometimes it will show you error if if that in that case you just copy this file, copy it, and then paste it on the uh, on DP server in, in any location. Your wish. Just paste here. Okay, and then execute it. That's all. SMS DP exe file will be there. 
okay you just execute that file using powershell with admin rights then this error will go but for now i don't have any error like that good see compile it successfully good let's go to our primary server to see the result go to your monitoring go to your distribution status okay dplab.com distribution point installation successful good okay still actually uh, basic packages are not distributed that's fine these two these are the basic ones right not a distributed we need to wait for a while once that is also distributed successful then here where is your distribution point yeah then here remaining packet remaining folders will be created like this let's compare with your secondary site see because secondary site also will hold the dp role right see data the file lib package lib everything is there so in the same way there also it will create okay i think we need to wait for a while let's wait for some time or if you want to see in sender.log package transfer.log you can see all that you can see in go to your second site program files logs folder sender dot log okay I didn't see anything records okay just give me some time actually we can change so many settings in your primary server console to make it fast but let's wait for a while and then once this is created successfully then we will uh, try to do the reassignment site reassignment means that means we need to uh, without trim, without decommissioning the distribution point from sscm console we can simply reassign from secondary site server to primary site for now this distribution point uh, is assigned to secondary site so that means whatever the content it required it will get it from the secondary site or whatever the communication from what are the clients are assigned to this dp will get the main communication with the secondary mp something like that so um, if you want to change some uh, change this dp completely from your secondary site to your primary site then you need to you need to decom this site and you need to reinstall again to assign to primary site but uh, with the new latest versions there is a option called site reassignment okay we can do that in the next coming videos thank you thanks for watching please do subscribe and yeah let me share uh, please share your comments if you have any doubts or if you have any questions on this okay and please uh, don't think in wrong way that uh, the, i'm not sharing in troubleshooting steps i will share that in coming videos okay because once i completed the flowcharts 
then i will come to that uh, main troubleshooting concepts also thank you thanks for watching